Okay, so we have built our website. I'm just going to show you guys off of um, my class website for us. Um, what I want you to have is a home page, an about page, you're going to have a photo history Friday page, and you're going to have a projects page. So I want to show you how to make those different pages. So you'd come up here to where it says pages, click on that. After you click on pages, you're going to click the little addition symbol up here. And we want your Photo History Friday and your projects pages to be blog pages so that you can add new posts all the time. So you'd click on blog page. We'll title this one projects. I've already got a projects page, so I'm going to put projects too. But you just put projects or assignments. We'll put assignments. We want to keep it up at the top so we won't click hide navigation. We don't need a header, so we'll say no header, and then we'll say done. Now if you want this closer to something else or whatever, you can um, just hover over it like that till you see the move tool, and then you can move it. Then we need a photo history Friday or photo Friday page, so again, clicking the addition, clicking on blog page and titling it whoops, Photo Friday. Again, don't check mark that. Say no header again. And now you have two new blog pages for your website. Now if you accidentally mess up, whatever, you can always delete these by clicking on the page and saying delete. And I'm going to delete them because I don't need them on there. Don't you delete them unless you mess up. Um, but that's how you would create a new page. And I will explain how to make a new blog post in a different video, but that's how you would create more pages. If you're planning on doing an extra credit um, assignment or a couple of them, you'd want to create a new extra credit page as well. Again, just pressing on that addition symbol, labeling it extra credit, no header. You can make that one a blog page as well, and then you're done. Make sure when you're finished making your new additions that you click the publish button up here in the upper right hand corner, because remember, if you don't hit publish, then I cannot see the new changes that you have made to your website. So always, 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 when you're done, making any changes to your website, make sure you hit that publish button.